Uh, I've seen a lot of people talking about the risk of a shutdown, but that it's not necessarily acute. How concerned are you? I'm concerned, but, you know, I think that there is two things here, Carl. One, there's a path forward. You can do a short-term extension, allow Republicans in the House to complete their work on the individual appropriations bills. Remember, they've only passed one so far. Uh, what the House Freedom Caucus doesn't want is a deal that jams them up into the December holidays. So do that. Get some funding for the hurricanes, the wild fires in Hawaii, and, and live to fight it another day. The second thing, and probably more importantly, you know, back in June, we're probably at a 10 if we defaulted on a scale of 1 to 10. Uh, a government shutdown for the markets, probably about a 2. If it goes on a really long time, about a 3. So kind of just in terms of magnitude, the market uh, cares less about a government shutdown. And I think there is a path forward here. Interesting. Um, Ramondo is going to be on with uh, Jim Cramer tonight, uh, talk about her trip. I wonder, did, is there a sense that it changed the color of of the ties right now between the two countries? Yeah, Carl. So our call all year long was that the Biden administration was trying to de-escalate a lot of things in China, uh, not walking back any of the tech restrictions. This is the uh, small yard, tall fence, national security driven agenda. The Commerce Secretary is supposed to go to China and sell U.S. goods. That's what she did. Um, there was a contentious meeting we hear uh, with their own Minister of Finance and Commerce, uh, MoFCOM, but I don't think that's going to deteriorate the overall uh, relationship. What we still need to get are the tech restrictions that the Biden administration put out last October. We probably get that in the next week or two. That could be headline negative uh, for semiconductor, semi-cap equipment, and that, I think, is what market participants really fear right now. Should we be talking more about Trump? I mean, latest Wall Street Journal poll getting headlines saying that support for Donald Trump nationwide now up to 59 percent. Another headline that the poll finds in a 2024 election test, Biden and Trump are tied at 46 percent. I know it's early. We don't know who the nominee is on the Republican side. But considering he came out recently and said he's going to impose a 10 percent across the board tariff on foreign imports, I feel like investors have, have been fooled before on this. Yeah, Sarah, it's, a, it's an important point. So at Raymond James, we put out our election preview last week. And what we said is that the most likely scenario right now is a rematch of 2020. Um, you usually don't see these level of leads in a primary, and that person does not end up getting the nomination. So I think in September, we're going to focus once again when at the Ronald Reagan Library on the 27th, there is the second uh, Republican debate. Does Trump show up there? Does anyone start be going into his lead? Uh, absent that, you know, in that head-to-head -head matchup, uh, incumbent presidents usually win re-election unless there's a recession. So a lot of those focus on economics are going to loom really large in 2024 because you can go down the list of all of the issues post the election that are really important. You mentioned tariffs. There's taxes. There's regulation. It's endless how important this election will be. Finally, on a specific area of regulation, I wonder, I know you've written a bit about cannabis and this HHS proposal on designation. I've seen some desks say that that move alone, the request, was groundbreaking. Uh, how important is it and what could it lead to, do you think? Yeah, so the HHS is going to recommend a descheduling, or not a descheduling, a, a rescheduling uh, from one to three, which is uh, opening up potentially more medical research and allowing for Congress to potentially pass what we know as the Safe Banking Act. Um, there's been a lot of false hope for this before. Uh, this is a movement that would probably expand out the availability of cannabis in the United States. Does it get federally recognized uh, through legislation? That seems unlikely. The most likely scenario is something that makes the transactions and the payments and the banking and maybe capital markets uh, more legal than it is today. That's why I think that's important. Yeah. Uh, well, the stocks certainly reflect what, what a hard slog it's been on, on regulatory change, Ed. It's going to be a Absolutely. fascinating month and fall. Uh, talk soon. Thanks. Thank you, Carl.